Hi, this is Randy Wong. I'm a retina specialist in Northern Virginia, just outside of Washington, D.C. This is a case of a 45-year-old male with a retinal detachment. It was repaired using a 25-gauge vitrectomy. Uh, of note, there is a very large tear, which you see in the lower right, and his macula is detached, which explains why his central vision was lost uh, for about four, four to five days before he came in. What I'm going to show you in just a second is the area of detachment, which you're going to see with the upper blue arrows, and the red arrows show the area of the macula, which gives you your central vision. The area in the lower right with the blue arrow there is the rather large or obvious retinal tear, which leads to this retinal detachment. The undulating tissue is actually the, the retina, and there is fluid underneath there, and uh, technically it's detached. Detached retina does not see very well, uh, if at all, and patients usually uh, notice loss of peripheral vision moving centrally. At this point, what I'm trying to do is uh, two things. I'm trying to remove as much vitreous as I can because that'll help make the repair easily, more easy, um, or easier, sorry. But I'm also inspecting the retina for evidence of other tears. And in this case, I really only see one large tear. And you can see the amount of traction or pulling that the vitreous has on the edge of the tear. And if you go right here, you can see how as I'm removing vitreous, it tugs up on the tear and makes the undulating retina really kind of flap in the wind, if, wind, if you will. The idea of doing the vitrectomy is also to get um, all traction off the retina so that there is less or no tendency to pull up on the retina. I'm depressing here just to make sure that there's no other smaller tears that I might miss. Uh, depression is done during, uh, can be done during the operation and occurs from the outside in. I'm going to prepare to do what we call a fluid air exchange, which is actually removing the fluid underneath and in the middle of the eye and ex in exchange for air. And I'm marking the edges of the tear with diathermy so that I don't lose track of it, although I have to admit this tear is so large. Uh, it's going to be hard not to see, but sometimes uh, when I'm operating, tears are very small, and when you do the fluid air exchange, they become very difficult to find. Here I've started the fluid air exchange, and I'm literally just sucking out fluid from underneath the retina through the tear. You can see that that blue tip is caught on the edge of the retina there. And I'm actually pumping in air as I'm aspirating or sucking out fluid and this will actually reattach the retina and this stage is pretty critical because you need to get all the fluid from underneath the retina so that when we eventually do laser in just a few minutes that the laser will take hold laser does not work on detached retina so my my goal right now is remove all the fluid underneath the retina in the middle of the eye and that's pretty flat there. And once I do this, I can laser around the tear. Now the video is a little funny here because it, we forgot to turn off the filter, but you get the idea. We're going to go around and essentially spot weld the entire tear. And in the next couple of days, it should be impossible for the retina to re-detach through this single tear. The area that gets treated, or rather good laser burns, turn white, so I'm going completely around the tear. And again, I apologize for the quality of the video. We actually forgot to turn on a, a uh, filter. So now you can see that I've gone around the tear and I've treated it. And I actually want to get one little edge on the left treated a little bit better, and that's why I'm removing more fluid, and there I'm, put, I'm uh, performing the extra laser. At this point, the operation is basically done. The last thing I want to do is exchange the air for gas. And I use a mixture of SF6. I like to use about 15% because it doesn't expand. And this will, with proper head positioning, keep the retina attached until all the laser that we did uh, scars the retina into place. 
and I'll be opening this valve and I'm injecting the new gas through uh, the tube up to the right and it comes out in that port down into the left and all we do at the end is pull out the ports and there you go thank you so much I'm Randy Wong I'm a retina specialist in Northern Virginia. Thank you very much to uh, Brooklyn Duo for letting us use the music during our videos. We'll see you next time. Be well.